Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at where you can find and view your part descriptions when it comes to the actual print uh, feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za we make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise we're back into the program here. And now we've covered quite a few things in regards to preview already. Now we're going to be looking at the actual individual parts and their information. So if we go here to print again, I'm just going to say OK. And then we move this to our actual uh, monitor. Um, you guys will notice that they, um, all these parts, we have no information on them other than perhaps the shape over here and the color and the number. But let's say we want to get more information about how big these parts are and so forth. And then what we can do is just navigate to another page. Now, depending on how many parts you have, it will um, depend also on how many pages you have. So I'm just going to navigate to the top here, zoom in, and then we're going to go use this little arrow to the right or left depending on where you're at so i'm going to go right once and then we can see over here we've got some more parts i'm going to go again and we can see okay cool now it's grayed out so we only have three pages as we can see there so we're going to go back and then over here we can find our parts now it will have um, in our case it'll be a bit confusing because i left all the parts just by the default part number so as you can see here we've got 3p17 so in other words this is our third um, part on our actual cutting and p17 is the actual parts name so this is part number 17 so if you're obviously working on a project and you've renamed these then it will make a bit more sense so you'll know okay cool this is part number four part number five it's also normally the cutting order but it can be changed and then on top here, it will be the name of it next to the actual number. Then under that, we've got a little preview. So this is obviously what the part's going to look like. So you can quickly use this to find the right parts and um, go locate it like that. And then I'm going to just zoom in here. We can see what's under that. Now here we've got more the dimensions. So we can uh, see how big it is and then yeah, that's pretty much it. So we can go for each individual part, look what they um, what they look like, get their names, and also the scale they're going to be. Now keep in mind, this is also going to be printed if you choose to print all the pages. So when you're going to an actual place to get information or so forth, that is easy because you have each individual part individually. And this is where the colors come in quite handy. Where if you're black and white, it gets a bit more tricky. But um, yeah. But perhaps with these light colors, you would want to have black and white rather. But yeah, otherwise that is it on previewing your actual parts. So just a quick recap again. I'm just going to go back in there and move it to the main monitor. So on the other pages, we can find the individual parts with their names or part number, name, the sample and its size. But yeah, that is it on the part numbers and the information. If we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate the search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.